Tonight, more deadly gunfire in Norfolk. Two people were hit. One was killed. Another is hurt and a neighborhood shaken by the violence. Uh, this is a look at the scene and here's a map for you. This happened as the sun was coming up over the point at Pickett Farm apartment complex on Green Plain Road. That's just a few blocks off of Raby Road in the Crown Point neighborhood. Turn on your sides. Brandy Cummings picks up the coverage with the latest on what happened. Brandy. Well, Anita, we've been working all day trying to get information about what happened, but so far, Norfolk police haven't told us much. Meanwhile, reaction from people learning about it has been mixed. No one wants to wake up to this. It's an unfortunate situation, and I really feel for the people involved. At 5.25 a.m. inside this second floor apartment, Norfolk police say a man and woman were shot. We don't know who did the shooting. The man was found dead. The 31-year-old woman is in serious condition at the hospital. Janae Hill lives on the floor below the couple. She didn't hear anything this morning. My neighbor across from me actually came to my door crying. She has to pass the door where the couple lived to leave the complex, but says she never said much to them, just small talk when their dogs crossed paths. So I'm kind of surprised. But at the same time, you never know. Both Hill and another resident who wanted to conceal her identity for fear of retaliation from the management company, they say they never got information about the shooting from apartment employees. I want to be reassured that nothing like this, you know, not saying it can't happen again, but that I'll be okay. Officials with the Franklin Johnston group that manages the complex told me safety is a priority for them. So they have cameras in the new complex and even hire a private security company to patrol twice a day. None of that was enough for Ginger Miller. She says the shooting and other crimes near her home were enough. So she's happy her Navy husband is relocating the family to Baltimore. If we, um, you know, could do it over, we wouldn't have moved in this area at all. Now, the management company says once they get permission from police, they will send out an email to residents alerting them of what happened. In the meantime, though, they continue to work with police trying to solve this crime. But police are telling us tonight that the crime was contained to one apartment. We will continue to work to get more information about what happened and learn the identities of the people involved. Once we get that, we'll pass it on to you. For now, live in Norfolk, Brandy Cummings, 10 on your side.